What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the VOD channel. Thank you so much for being here for another catfish video. We're watching a catfish compilation, of course, today. Um, it's going to be four catfish exposed by their family. A little bit of an MTV ranked video. Very excited for that. Um, as always, our you know little minute or two of, of discussion here. Um, glad that you guys seem to like the America's Next Top Model video. I will make another one very soon. That show is insane. Let me just say that. Um, thank you for all the subscribers, the likes, the comments. Appreciate it. And speaking of comments, I said last video, if you comment, I'm going to just pick 10 comments and put them in this this wheel here, write them down, spin it, and pick a shout-out to give. And I'm going to do it each uh, video. And I did not forget. So kudos to me for remembering. Um, so I'm going to spin the wheel of shout-outs. Now it is Ryan's toy review or whatever, but we have changed it. It is now just me. It's just Ryan. Obviously, he has been edited a bit. But in this wheel, the wheel of shout-outs, there are 10 of you that commented on the America's Next Top Model video. And one of you is getting a shout-out now. So comment on this video, and I'll refresh all of the comments, add 10 new people, and then you can get a, a possible shout-out next video. Here we go. Let's get her moving. The wheel of shout-outs. And I wrote legibly, okay? Legibly? 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 I wrote... So you can read it. Okay, here we go. White. Who's it gonna be? I feel like uh I feel like I'm I'm about to announce the Oscars winner. Yaya Tesfe. Let's go. Yaya Tesfe, you are the shout out of the day. Thank you so much for leaving a comment on the last video, Yaya. Um really appreciate it. Hope you've been enjoying the content. And uh, I'm really thankful for you being on the channel. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, hope that uh, you enjoy this video. Let's get into it, everybody. I'm going to switch on over to the desktop here. We're going to get it moving. As always, subscribe if you're new. We're having it. Thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. Comment some things throughout the video. You can comment as many times as you want. I really, it, I would love it, honestly. You can comment 20 times. I'm not getting mad. Okay, so let's do it. Or catfish exposed by their family. If there are some that have had crossovers, like we might have seen a piece of one of these from another compilation, who cares? I have the memory of a goldfish, and I forget, and I'll just give a new reaction anyway. Um, also, I pause a lot. Got the soundboard. If it's not your style, no worries. But, th but that's going to continue, right? So here we go. Without further ado, grab your popcorn. Let's watch. I need and candy. Doesn't say that. <laughs> Danielle and I know BJ. you must get so many emails asking. And my dogs immediately start barking as I start the episode, so we'll pause. I'll mute for a second. You guys can just look. Bambi and Cooper are always barking right when I hit play. It is truly remarkable how they do it every single time. I'm sorry for hurting everyone's ears. My dog has no idea he's on camera. Hey, hey, hey. You're embarrassing me on, on live television. All right, we might have some clear here. So I thought this might stand out. True. I really need your help with my friend. In season eight, Danielle's friend Dominique wrote in on her behalf to figure out what was going on with BJ, a guy she'd been talking to for six years. Bruh. Okay, that's a hefty amount of time. And Danielle. She recently relocated from Buffalo to Atlanta for a fresh start, but there is a big part of her past she's not letting go. She has this guy, BJ, that she's been in contact with for six years, but they still haven't I'm met face-to-face -face or again. Danielle has made several visits to South Carolina to see him, and every time she gets there, he cancels and goes. Uh, is she flying to South Carolina to hang and he says no thank you? do to encourage her to let BJ go but she won't listen to me my friend Danielle is in love she can move on from the situation sincerely Dominique all right Dominique you're a good friend hey Danielle heading your way text from 803 during their investigation I know who Danielle Cammy and Neve got a mysterious text from someone claiming to be BJ 
who revealed Danielle had actually been talking to his brother, Devin. Okay. Talking to call me. Whoa. Who is that? I don't know. All right, I'll call. Hello. Hi. Who is this? What do you think? This is BJ? Yes. I got a call from my friend. Oshawan? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Saying that cat is looking for you. Actually, like, what's my number and all that? We searched the, the dogs are out of their minds right now. Out of their minds. You're going to jail, both of you. I'm putting you in prison now. You're going to prison, federal prison now. Yep. I'm taking you guys both to jail. Yeah, they shut up real quick, huh? They shut up real quick. You're both going to jail. The number and it came up as Bilal Gibbs. Yes, that's my name. But I got a family plan. I got my brother in front of my plan. So wait, do you know who Danielle is? Yes, I know who Danielle is. I haven't talked to her in over two years. So, okay. So you think there's a chance your brother might be talking to her now? I know. Oh, you, you know? Oh, yeah, well. he, he, he confessed to me. Like, he's been talking oh, to her. Oh, boy. He's like, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, so you were talking to her for for a long time? Yeah, we were talking for a while. It was released, but we took off. So in these last two years, I ain't been talking to her. So you weren't talking to her okay. after she got shot? What? She got shot. Yeah, well, we must have skipped a chapter or two there. Come on, man. What the hell happened there? So, so you don't even know about all that? No. Okay, so how okay. did your brother get her number? Right. He kept with my brother. So we have access to like social medias and all that. Uh, so I, okay. that's why he told me, he said, he said, bro, man, I was going to your phone. And when you told me about her, like she was a good girl and then he started talking to her, he confessed to me all that, what they had going on. So were you not pissed off with him that he was basically yes. talking to your girl? That's why I'm calling because I had to clear my name, like even posing as me. Wow. You seem pretty How calm about it. So this guy's brother was talking to his girl behind his back. He's four years older than me. So he's in like his 30s. Are you both in South Carolina? Yes. And do you know how he feels about Danielle? I don't know. I think he told me he That's why I just gotta say, as I always do, Cammy looking real good. Oh, of course he has kids. But you're not. No, I'm not married. Are you still interested in Danielle? I ain't been talking to her. It hasn't been me. Right. Is it cool if we call you back if we need to ask you something? I don't want nothing to do with this. Be honest with you. Okay. I don't want nothing to do with this. But that's why I'm on the phone right now, giving you about a 15-minute conversation. I don't want to be on TV, though. Also, if you see the board behind me, it's supposed to be a hook. Gone fishing. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys could see. I feel like that was a pretty good J hook. I've been really working on trying to make my handwriting legible. And I think that that is very readable. So, I'm proud of myself. Okay, so the number Danielle has is your brother's number. Yes. And what's his name? Devin. Devin? Yes. All right, so I guess we'll just have to talk to him now. We appreciate you. I had an ex named Devin, and she was a bitch. All right, thanks, BJ. Thanks. Oh, man. That's so up. That explains everything, because the real BJ's not going to meet up with her when she's in right. South Carolina. And he can't, not only because he'd have to explain because that he has a he's wife and kids. his little brother, but... He is married with kids. There's a black cat walking by. This is not a good situation right now. You can't make that uh, shit up. That is scary. Is that me? <laughs> Neve is me meowing at cat. I meow at cats when I walk not by. Not a good situation right now. Oh, let me see. Let me let me rate his meow. You can't make that shit up. That is scary. Honestly, a really good meow. What the hell? Meow. That's a that's as good as I got. Meow. It's like a Hello Kitty character. Scary. Is that me? This looks like they're stopping here. Oh, they're, oh man, they're just waiting out there. I can't tell. Here's Danielle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. And is that that is it? Rose. What's up, man? What's going okay. on? Hi. Solo. Solo. Oh, okay. What's up? Go on. BJ. Yeah. Right. So that's you. Cammy. Nice to meet you. Okay. Obviously, you know Danielle. Yeah. I thought when we spoke yesterday, you mentioned you were going to maybe come with yeah, I Devin. Yeah. Cooper. Even... Put him in the crate.
He's in prison. He has been he has been jailed. He's in the crate. He's fine. Okay. So he decided not to come. Right. Okay. That's what you said? Well, we're we're all here. We're very eager to find out what's been going on here. And Things got even more complicated when the catfish crew met up with BJ, who stuck to his story about his brother and then retracted it, like entirely. So technically, he exposed himself as the catfish? Question mark. Kind of. Yeah, like last three or two years, it hasn't been me. I tell my brother everything. So he went through my social media and all that, and like. So talking to him. BJ's been getting so messed up behind his back from his own up. brother posing as him. This is I'm wild. Curious, like, do you log into his Instagram? No, it's like my phone is already on, like my, it's already logged in. So he on my phone or something like that. Okay. And like he'll go through it, he'll go through his, like that. Like I didn't, I wouldn't question him. So why is your brother not stepping up to the plate and saying that it was him because this whole like, time? Yeah, I don't know. I like to point out how cozy to, Cammy's jacket looks. He wasn't up front, like he wanted to say, bro, I don't know what we'll get another shot of that. Yeah, I did it, but I don't want to go out there. I got a whole family and all that. But did he think about that? That's a real cozy jacket. I got a matching jacket like that. Oh no, because I, I just found out last week. But people are going to find out about this either way, right? right? And he's going to be in trouble anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's going to end up on television. I think when, I think sometimes people forget that this is TV. That they'll be like, I don't want my, I don't want my friends finding out. It's like, well, I don't know if you know what that giant camera is, but it is uh, it does a thing called recording. And, you know. This isn't true. Like, this is who I've been talking to. Like, you sound like yourself. We sound alike. <laughs> I mean, they are brothers. I don't, I don't, I don't believe you. Oh. If that's the case, call him. Oh. And show. He won't answer. Okay, I like that play. I like that play by Danielle. She's kind of calling his bluff. She's like, I think you're lying. He hit immediate, I won't answer. Now, that makes no sense. There's something going on here because that's you're not you're not going to answer your brother's phone call. A little too quick to dismiss that one. He don't want like I try to get him to come here and I'll clear my name, you know. So he he won't do it. I'm like, damn, bro, come on and clear my name, bro. What you got going on? Right. So I don't care how you feel. Okay, he's probably he making this whole thing up. Uh, I'm clear my name. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Me in any social gathering ever. <laughs> random like yeah you know i want to go home yeah my my social bat i noticed that like when i go to an event or a party or something my social battery you know most people's are at 100 charged up i started about 33 percent i go into low power mode low brain mode within about 15 minutes i don't have a lot of time okay my, my social battery is almost i'm like a samsung battery you know that falls out of the android and is embarrassing falls on the ground pops out falls on the floor you put it back in, it's at 2%. That's me at a social event. So I feel Danielle there. I think she's feeling like this might not be real. You understand the situation is strange. Right. Don't you think it's kind of f***ed up that your brother would see that you had a relationship with a girl? I like the Christmas lights, though. And he would then go behind your back and sneak and get her to start messaging him. Very malicious, yes. That just feels weird to me. Like, why... I don't know. Not I a don't very know. brotherly thing to do, if that's the case. I, I don't, I don't believe this. I don't believe it. I don't want to talk to him no more. If he gonna sit there and lie, dead in my face, something else is going on, and I don't have to put up with it. I don't have to put up with this. That's that's what I don't have to do. That's so you what think I, it was right. him the whole time? I think it was him the whole time. I know you haven't had it. I believe her, uh, her no, first more than I believe him. A lot, right, in a few years, but like. Yeah. Do you still feel like any kind of like friendship with her? Do you feel yeah. like a connection to her? Yeah, I mean, I feel that connection. I, and I came here to clear things up. You were right to say, if you have a brother, then call him. He might not answer our phone calls, but why would he not answer, answer his brother phone, phone calls? If exactly. If he not call his brother, I don't, want, I don't want to say nothing to him. Let's get him to call him. That's the least he can do. All right, Cammy, always got the, always got the good ideas. never lie. Right about anything right you were friends with her from instagram and then you stopped talking and then that was it for you there's something else there it is sometimes it takes about five to ten minutes but neve usually gets in there neve starts talking enough usually like you know what yeah okay you got me
Let's see what it's going to be. Also, shout out to uh, Quinn92. Was at the Quinn92 Arizona concert last night in LA. Shout out to anybody who knows Quinn92 and or the band Arizona. It's a great show. What do you mean? I'm actually nine years old. I'm just really tall. I don't have to put up with this. This, yeah, this is all. This is all about to go down right now. Something else. Something is not right. What's about to happen? Is the house gonna blow up? Why don't you just tell us what's going on? There are a lot of people in the yard. A lot, a lot of white dudes with cameras. Basically, yesterday. So I kind of like, I kind of panicked. You feel me? I panicked. So I had to make that up on my brother. There it is. Give me leeway. Give right. me leeway to take the pressure off me. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So he was this lying. Is now a whole new story. Yeah. So not what you just said. To be clear, the only person Danielle has been talking to the whole time has been you. Yes. Oh. Okay. Do you have a brother? I have a brother, yeah. But he has nothing to do with this. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. And he's okay. married. Yeah, that's true. With kids. Damn, he was he was almost about to drag his own brother down. Can you imagine if he didn't say, Okay, never mind, I'm lying. And this heirs and his brother's wife is like what that could have been real dangerous and that's probably why he was like okay uh never mind i gotta say something you could tell he probably did not want to obviously but i mean i the good that he did and you threw him under the bus exactly see me and kenny have the same brain why would you even play like that i panicked and i didn't want to have a conversation well so yeah. the real reason that you encouraged her to come to south carolina and then decided not to meet her was just because, what, you were nervous? I wanted you to come, but I never was going to go through with it. <laughs> what? I wanted you to come, but I was never going to go through with it. It'd be like, hey, I want to invite you to dinner, but uh, I'm not going to go. But I'd like you to go. Get the pasta. Let me know how it is. Yeah. I wasn't the place for you to come. Why? Because, like, she, like, extravagant things. And I was already telling her I was extravagant, you feel me? I felt like I needed to say that to keep her around. I didn't have those things to show, you know what I'm saying? So that's a big lie. Oh, so he was acting like he had, you mine. know, money maybe? Wait, the laundromat thing, I said that to keep her around. Wait, 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 what made you think that that would be something that would have been a big deal? Danielle, were you What you learn about this is a lot of the times, everything comes down to just communication. Like if he just was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not rich. Like I'm, I'm not. And she was like, that's fine. Probably would have solved some things, right? But Is it in his money or something? No. I feel like if I lied, I said I had those things that she would be still fond of me. I felt bad that I ghosted her. But not bad enough to show up. Damn. Maybe you've at least sent a text that said, oh, I just got called on a job. Like, just get, just to let her know so she doesn't fly all the way down there. So, so she flew like, to South Carolina and he didn't even say anything. It's not not together, That's brutal, so man. What do you even do when you get there? You just go to like a Denny's and leave or a Waffle House? That everything I told you, that wasn't it. And once you see that, that's what you weren't, you'll be turned off, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand why you lied. You didn't even have to make it seem like it was something else. This reminds me of the, like why the fuck you lying? Why are you always lying? I just really want to lay it all out there. Oh my God. Once why are you always lying? Are, are lies. Can you kind of just clear the air a little Everything bit? Everything is a lie. Yep. You're a liar. Yep. Everything is not a lie. Let them know because every goddamn time they do this, everything I told you was real. Everything. Except everything else besides that. It's always like, you know, when I said that I like uh, going to Burger King, that wasn't a lie. But, you know, saying that it was my brother and, that, you know, and that, that was a lie. It's like, oh, I'm glad that you go to Burger King and, and like a. What do they sell at Burger King? Not Whop. Do they sell Whoppers at Burger? But yeah, a Whopper. <laughs> Me living the scrapping lifestyle, traveling all that, that's a lie. But everything else, I'm a, I feel, that's not a lie. Yeah, that's just how I feel. Bro, I don't even have all the things that you're trying to tell me that you have. Were you just waiting for the right opportunity until the business grew and you had all these things? Yeah, I didn't want to meet like this. Ah. Why yeah, not that's a bad yeah, excuse. Because I feel like she's gonna see my lifestyle. Yeah, but you could have just been at Burger King, right? And having lunch. Whoa, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Wow.
That's weird that that just happened. What are the fucking odds that he would say Burger King? That's so Ryan. Not only strikes again, but my goodness, that one. Of all things. Because I feel like she's going to see my lifestyle. That's crazy. Yeah, like you could have just been at Burger King. Right? Yeah, about Burger lunch. King. Good promo Every for Burger King. Sometimes, like I said, I'm out of town. When I'm really not in town, she tried to FaceTime me. And I, I wouldn't do it. Here's the up thing. Like, the truth isn't even that bad. Right. Like, the fact that you embellished your lifestyle a little bit. Yeah, it's not, it's not that big, big of a deal compared things. to some people. What's really f***ed up is that you wasted her emotional time and energy. I don't know, but I'm but, here to come clear. I'm here to uh, let you know that I'm coming clean, you know what I'm saying? I want to go forward. She is absolutely not have, going forward. I want to hopefully keep our relationship. You want me to go ahead and let go of everything? I don't know what you told me is true. That's, that was the biggest lie. Everything else told you the truth. I ain't no kids. I mean, I'm single. I'm a bachelor. That's the truth. Okay, he's a bachelor. It didn't have to be like this. You could have told me eventually. You could have even phased it out. Like, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, well, if it took MTV and a, and a crew of catfish hosts to get you there, it probably doesn't feel as nice as if you just showed up on your own. You know? Not the greatest feeling when it's forced like that. Do you love her? Don't say I yes. Love her. Okay, I well that's did what I did. Like, nice way to phrase it. Being there when she got shot. That's love. Yeah, the hey, shot dude. thing is <laughs> wild. Okay, well you know, I've seen worse. Let's see about Dijon and Cache. I want to reach out to you on behalf of my brother Dijon. I feel like I'm stable. Why I'm always stable. Talking for like a couple years with this girl named Cachet. Cachet. He's in love with her. See, there's no one like you. It's not an obsession. I just mm. need to find you. Catfish music's always good. Dejan had fallen hard for Cachet, but surprise, she refused to video chat and never showed up for dates IRL, which obviously raised some concerns. I will be honest though, I do not like the FaceTime. I don't like the way my face looks in the front camera. I truly feel horrific when I look at the front of my camera. I'm not even kidding. I mean, Alright, so he's trying to look out for his brother. Sydney? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Sydney, right? Uh, yes, Sydney, yes. Okay, and this is Cammie. Hi, Hi. Cammie. Always meet meeting at the Dylan. parks. Hi. Oh. Sydney, what is C? I've never seen that before. Yeah, I want Dealing to know what's going on. Well, we want to know we the we same <laughs> thing. <laughs> While researching the catfish crew, got a call from Sydney, who claimed to know the person behind the cache profile. Turns out they share some DNA. We were hoping you might have something to tell I us. got, I got, I got, I got catfishing you know inside my DNA. Yes. I know Kendrick. Oh, Kendrick, oh, Kendrick uh, bar there? I'm not Cache. Okay. But I do know who Cache is. Right, Cache. So who is that? Looks Who's like a nice, Cache? nice soft hoodie. Her Cache sister. Oh, I was close. Cache. But what's her real name? I'm not gonna. You well, guys, okay, whatever. You know, I'm we'll not get... gonna tell you guys stuff about her. You know, I well, don't what, feel comfortable. What, what can you tell? She's like, I'm gonna tell you it's my cousin, but I'm not gonna tell you anything else. Well, then why? Then why even be show up? Okay. Well, she does this a lot. Okay. Talks to guys on the internet as oh. yeah. someone else. It's her kind of her thing. I've thing. told her multiple times, like, you need to stop doing this. Like, you know, people get hurt, their feelings get hurt. It's not healthy, it's not good. I'm so sorry that th that's been happening to you. Oh, well, that's sorry, nice of her to, 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 to do this. Or Dijon, though. Anything else that we should know, or... I told you all that I can tell you. Oh. See, I just don't ever believe anybody on this show. Like, she, I feel like she's lying. She's kind of, she, like, parts, parts partially she's like shutting them down yeah all right but you so know should we let's call her you just never know with this show yeah this show gives right. me trust well, issues thank you. you're welcome but at least she showed up i'll you're give welcome. her credit sydney i'm so sydney. sorry nice to meet you i'm so 
sorry this happened to you. If she's being honest okay. and good see for you. her. See you. Nice to meet you. Do you want to come down and say hello? All right, here we go. Let's see how this goes. So you're Kashe. Okay. There's Kashe. I think he was expecting a little different. That's Cash App. That's... That's crazy. <laughs> Hit it with the that's crazy. Thank you for agreeing to meet us. Okay. Just to be very clear, you've been talking to Dejan. Yeah. You've got the double snake bite. Uh, What's your name? Kind of hot topic piercings there. My real name is Gervais. <laughs> All right. Gervais, that's a cool name. Whoa. Sydney, who we met yesterday, is that your cousin? After Sydney's revelation, Caché, a.k.a. Gervais, agreed to meet up in person. As a serial catfish, things had started out as a joke with Dejan, but as they got closer, actual feelings developed. That's what every person says. They just say, oh, it was just a joke. And, you know, start off as a silly joke. And then, you know, we started talking for six or seven years. Like, they played off like it's nothing. Oh, we've just been chatting for a decade. Every day for three hours. It's a joke. Silly little joke. I don't know if people know what jokes are. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you alright? Yes, I'm okay. It's overwhelming. Yeah. 21 months down the drain. I didn't know who you were. 21 Got months. A whole bunch of questions. Can we just get your stats? Are you 30? <laughs> yeah, I'm 30. <laughs> Not the way he's, can we get and your stats? Do you have a son? It's an NFL player. No. Do, do you have any kid, uh, children? No. Okay. Wow. It's kind of awkward. Have you ever ran into Dejan before? Because you guys live really close to each other. What happened? Why did you mess with me? I mean, for one one time, just, just, just be real. I didn't even... Like, this is not intentional. Like, it just happened, I guess. In the beginning, it was a game. I was fishing one day on POF, and... She was literally... I, I could not have had a, a better thing written up there with my hook. It's like, I mean, she she acted like she had a damn rod out there casting in, the, in, in a net. That is plenty of fish. And what we've learned about catfish as a show, the most catfished platform social media, whatever thing by far, dating app, is plenty of fish. It's like 90% plenty of fish, then Tinder, and then some other ones. Plenty of fish is the worst. If you're using it, it's plenty of catfish. You got to get off it. Some type of way, he just got hooked. Mm. Got hooked! It wasn't necessarily the fish hook. I was fishing for. It just happened. Making and my drawing I, look the, real, real smart. years, you know, we just grown to be... Close, I guess, you know? You had me believing in a, uh, uh, in a whole... Dejan has a pretty similar you know, jacket to Cammy, both with the hood up, by the way. Woman. But the, the woman that you talk to every day is me. Okay. Why use somebody else's photos? Like, you're an attractive woman, you have beautiful eyes. Why not use pictures of yourself? When you're behind that person, you can do and you can be and you can It's the mask, man. The people like the mask. People people else. like and I don't know how people are gonna playing fairy tale. Because I already know how I've been tormented in my past. You know what I'm saying? I know how I've been judged. Cache probably might be a little bit better than my real person. That's sad. When did you first start making a they, why do they all program? have fur hoods? Is that like a a requirement for this this trip. Neve has a fur hood. Dejan has a fur hood, and Cammy has a fur hood. That must be the thing. Furred up since before catfish was really catfish. Damn, she invented like the it. Chat lines, the phone chat lines, and stuff like that. God damn! Been catfishing since the nineties. What the hell? She been catfishing telemarketers? What the hell? It was like an outlet. How Damn. many profiles have you had? Ain't no telling. Uh oh. Ain't no telling's not I a good answer. I was so caught up in cachet that, like, a couple months ago, went and purchased a 
ring. Engagement ring. I knew it. I knew he was going to say that. I was that serious. Because you guys talked about starting a life together. Yeah. Damn. Okay, this is a tough one, I'll be honest. They're, he's clearly having some problems with this. He's handling it well, and um, it's tough, man. These are tough situ situations. There's a, there's a lot that goes into these things. It's not as cut and dry as a lot of childhood stuff. It's a lot of trauma. It's a lot of insecurity. Um, doesn't make it right. But I'm sure him saying that he wanted to propose to this per this version of her, that's probably a lot to hear, knowing that it's not actually her, but it is, you know? That's <sighs> tough. I forked over a lot of money for that damn ring, thinking that I found my one. Feel bad for Dijon, though. We got an email damn. from the cat. You know, hey, I hope that both of them ended up being okay, at least. Here's number two. This is Derek and Annabelle. Which is a little unusual. Hey guys, we forwarded you an email from an anonymous source. This isn't the way things normally come to us, but it seems like an interesting case. An anonymous person wrote in. Anonymous whistleblower. Well, here's the email. I think I remember this one. Let's see. They always show me different pieces to these things, so I never know. I am, but I'm gonna ask for your help. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, and the only way out... The thing is, I've watched so know. many episodes and compilations, I think I've watched 200. I have no idea what's ever about to happen. Like, I could have watched this this Derek and Annabelle one six times, I still forget. Okay. Okay. Something's wrong with me. I'm to tell you about this guy I, guy okay, I feel like I remember this guy. Derek was born and I remember Derek. In Vancouver, Washington Derek area. reminded me of Shaggy. In a good way, I liked, I liked him. That's usually something I like about Forget him. what really happens, but I, rem I do remember my boy Derek. Derek recently got out of a long-term serious relationship. He was pretty torn up about it. Five months ago, his friends took him out to cheer him up. An anonymous tip introduced Neve and Lara to Derek, a guy who fell head over heels for Annabelle, a girl he met on Snapchat. That night, he ended up chatting with a girl named Annabelle on Snapchat. He went from heartbroken to head over heels in a matter of days and hasn't looked back since. Hmm. Thanks, handsome. Want to see more? Never, uh... If it's that quick, it's probably not real. But she's refusing to meet him even though she lives nearby. He says they've got a strong connection, but I think he's ignoring a lot of issues because his heart is broken and she's hot. How did you get to be you so sexy? I think he's gonna fall also, that is Neve's wife right there. Years of his time building a relationship with someone who I think doesn't even exist. Derek has no idea I'm doing this, but if you can please hit him up, I think he will listen to you. Where's his number? It's definitely my buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the walk okay, AF. I remember correctly, it ends up being... Let's see if I can remember this. I believe it ends up being this guy's sister. Brother. What's up, Derek? This is one of his good friends. Poor Derek. Let's just There's watch it play out for those of you who haven't seen this. It says, after Annabelle agreed to meet up in person, Derek was shocked to see his friend Jeremy get out of the car. Jeremy name? looks Sorry. like a Jeremy. My, my name's Jeremy. You know, I feel like there'd be a couple names. I'm going Aaron, Jeremy, and Roger. Those three names, I feel like he looks like that's solid jeremy I'm, I'm one of derek's really good friends okay cool i am trying to just fix all this that's why i'm here bro anybody here, with a anyway, galaxy I'm hat i help. trust i care about dude, you I'm, dude. Right now, bro. Like, I'm, just... I'm not annabelle okay, okay so i hope not okay i'm not annabelle annabelle is also annabelle. not the Please. horror film I'll be right back. unless okay. the doll comes out that would be kind of creepy Here's Annabelle. I talk to him all the time. Like he showed, I showed him everything about Annabelle, and like he just playing it off, and he's on. Oh my god, that better not be your sister. Dude. And Derek, one thing about Derek that we knew when we watched it before, Derek wears um a ton of bandanas. He is the ban the bandana man. Rebecca? It definitely. Oh my god. There's that there's the sister. Yeah, this is one big joke, dude. I'm gonna f him for life. Oh this my. Is... Did he say I'm gonna fuck him for life? <laughs> what did he say? That is Becca. Yeah, if this is one big joke, dude, I'm gonna f him for life. Can someone just explain what's going on? Yeah, please. So, I, I'm Annabelle. You're not Annabelle. I'm sorry. Yeah, everything I said was the truth. So, Jeremy wasn't Annabelle. He brought her with him. To Derek's surprise, it was Jeremy's sister, Becca. Oh, and Jeremy was the one who had written into Catfish in the first place. Everything, you said everything. everything I said was the truth. I just was afraid. There it is. 
to talk to you as me because you're like a brother to me. I've known you for so long. I don't even know what to say. He has a hand tap that we says Vans. I like that. And you were very comfortable talking to us and <laughs> denying <laughs> to know anything. And you're a good cool. liar. You lied to him. That, you lied that's to why us. I can't and so, those text messages that you sent to me. Did you send the email? No, I. I did write the anonymous email. You wrote in? I thought I, he wrote in this no, whole time. No, I, I was in the middle of it, listening to both sides, and I couldn't be just holding a secret anymore between my best friend and my sisters. Jeremy, how long did you know she'd been catfishing Derek? Probably like uh, about 27 years. <laughs> Probably two months, right, if I had to guess? Like, after like a month or two, I knew. How did you find out? I had a feeling just because she was always on her phone. I got a I feeling. She's talking to her, and then one day, tonight's I gonna it be out. a catfish I'm night. Right now. So, what is this Snapchat group? It's something that some of my old roommate used to do that I helped like participate in. Jen? Yeah. That's like how Annabelle and him started talking. It's like, I can't really talk about the Snapchat thing. It's a private Fine, but you it's were on that. private yeah, matter. It's private Snapchat. Does Jen know who Annabelle is? Like, she knows lots of girls, so I don't think she's her idea doesn't even process to, like, do I know her? Oh, she's she's got those type of glasses that are zoomed in, and I had those when I was younger. And then when I would take off my glasses, it would make my eyes look really small. People used to make fun of me. So if you ever had the zoom in glasses like that, the magnifying glasses, as I used to call them, hope you got your eyes fixed. I got LASIK, you know, because I was... Line is a bat. Part of my group. That's all that matters. Jen does not know that you're Annabelle. I don't think so. Okay. I feel so stupid right now. This is like my life, bro. We've all been like one big family since we met, like back in like high school days, you know? She's not trying to hurt you, dude, especially after all you've been through, you know? She yeah, just like, cares about you. I wouldn't be here right now if I didn't mean everything that I said. I, I loved talking to Annabelle. Well, you. Like, you know, like, you made me feel good, but, like, there could have been, like, a better shot, like, if you really liked me instead of going through all this. Well, here's an email from Travis. Here's number one, Travis and Candy. How much time should I give her? Hey, Neven Max, my name is Travis from Los Angeles. Wow. Okay, L.A. 25 and it's That's time where to I'm living currently. Down. About two years ago, I was on this dating site and saw a profile. Wait, okay, well, what was the Settling dating site? Down. I've never seen this About dating site in my life. Years ago, I was on this dating site. Love is never late. Doc, has anybody watching this ever heard of love is never late dot com? And that's I would love for you to comment if you have, because I have never, ever in my entire life heard of that. Love is never late. Well, it is sometimes when you catfish somebody for six years. And saw a profile for this really beautiful girl from Las Vegas. Wow, Vegas. Red. Candy Red. Candy Red Apple, Granny Smith. Season 7, Episode 7. Travis wrote into the show after clicking with a woman named Candy Red on a dating app. Nice to meet you, Candy Red. I'm Snack Blue. As if the name wasn't a big enough red flag. They Now they missed it. They could have said, as if the name wasn't a big enough Candy red flag. Easy. They missed that one. She refused to meet in person or video chat. Yep. Well, there you go. And as you can see, Max already knows this ain't going to go great. I mean, come on. That Vegas. could just be her stage name. True. Yeah, I sent her a message right away telling her I was looking for my queen. But we okay. We each other messages every day and then started texting. Wait a minute, For my queen. Never. When this happens, every day and then like if you, if you go, hey, first, first, um, message here is i love the pick right a natural response from a real person would be oh thank you so much yours as well you know what's up whatever or, or just like anything if you're immediately dropping the number right you're a catfish because you are desperate for attention and you're desperate to make this happen fast i feel like so it's like every time i see this they'll be like hey i think you're so cute and they'll be like yeah you too uh, text me you want to you want to get married and have children? They do it in like 35 seconds. They get it all out of the way. They establish that they love each other in like 35 minutes. It's the most wild thing.
I started texting. When you make me feel you got me twisted. I know it sounds cliche, but she really gets me. There she goes. Candy Red. I've opened up to her so much. I don't think anyone knows me as well as she does. I've been thinking about asking her to live with me in uh -oh. Los Angeles so I can take away some of her stress while she pursues her dreams. Why are they talking about living in Los Angeles? Why don't they just talk about like going on a great trip to the Hoover Talking? Dam? So not that far from Las Vegas makes a great day trip. Talking yeah, on the would phone be would be even good. I want Candy to be by my side, but she won't meet or even video chat, which makes me think she's hiding something. I've tried. Um, she might be hiding the fact that she's a dude. Being patient and doing this on her timeline, but I feel like we're not getting anywhere. Hope to hear from you, Travis. Girl, you twist me up, me up, me up, yeah. Uh, so what's up? You, you called me, you told me you wanted to talk. We looked up Candy Red, and we found that the girl in her pictures is someone else. So we already know that. Right, right. Is there right. anything else you can tell us about uh, who this mystery girl is? Okay, they are in a very random alleyway. There are seven two dudes with cameras. I don't know who this lady is. The fun thing about the compilations is okay. trying to piece together. She's my sister. Okay, now I said brother. I said a dude, but it's a it's the sister. So this is Candy Red's sister. This is Snack Blue. Candy Red's your sister? Yes. Are you? This is what we needed. After receiving a mysterious phone call from a woman named Veronica. So this is Veronica. Max and Neve met up with her when she dropped a bombshell. Candy Red was her sister. Okay, so that's the information we just got. Her sister has been catfishing Travis, and she is now letting them know. Who your sister? No. Are you just saying that she's your sister today, but tomorrow it'll be you? No. She's your twin sister? No, no right, twins. Right, right. Max is pulling out all the. Uh, I don't know that name. Never heard of that name. Huh. Don't you put Seattle to my sister's name? Do you know that your sister has been talking to this guy? No. I you know, know she. I has know she. Profile. Like she's have been catfishing people for a very very long time. Damn. And I'm getting tired of it. My family's getting tired of it. She told my grandma that she was going to stop. But now that this not is the grandma, out, I know like, you can't be lying to the grandma to do this. So right. I wanted you to cannot lie to the, your grandmother. Good. She talked about. Travis. All right. So she's being Who a good sister here. Yeah, she hasn't talked about. She don't ever talk about none of her catfishes. All right. So how do you think is the best way for us to meet up with your sister? I can text you and let you guys know. So are you going to reach out? To her, I'm and tell her, to her. That we met. All right, Veronica's doing the Lord's okay. work here. Thanks for coming forward. I'm sure that must have been tough for you. Don't let me down. Okay. 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 That's Veronica. Veronica's pulling up. So that must be. There's Candy. Here we go. This is going to be awkward. What the f is this? Oh, her sister has no idea what's about to happen. Did she just trick her? What is this? Oh, no, she did. All right, all right, all right, all right. Drop the shit. Please, calm down. Please. You, you know said drop the shit. You know why you're here. What Stop is this? looking over there. Start looking over here. Damn, Neve okay. is not happy. Look at what, him, man. What's your name? Candy. Yeah, Candy. She looks just like her sister. Pretty, you can tell they're yes. related. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, Candy, I'm Max. Hi, Max. Hi. Okay, Candy's not the same in the photos. Do you know who this is? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize, but I I think you've been the, talking. The unicorn? Is that a here. unicorn earring? If I'm wrong, I well, limited two vibes. But. Wrong, I'll apologize, but I I think you've been talking to him for a few years and sending him pictures of a different girl. Telling him you live in Vegas. Oh no, his sister, together, her sister in the background. For some money, and oh. he thought he was dating this girl, and he wasn't, right? Yes. Okay, damn. Set off a, a bomb, I'm literally. Sorry. Okay. With the help of Veronica, Travis, Neve, and Max surprised a very reluctant Candy Red, aka Brianna, into coming clean. Um, 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 we have I'm a lot of Briannas who watch this channel. You. Okay. We're here to help him. I think you owe Travis some answers. Why for two years? Like, pretty much played me like this. I'm sorry, like, I'm... 
I honestly don't know what to say. Veronica. Maybe sorry. the impression that you've been talking to other guys. A little bit more sincere apology. Fish for a while. Is that true? Yes. So you've been talking to multiple guys the last five, six years as this candy red person, right? Yes. Okay. You're not scamming lots of guys pretending to be this girl, are you? No. So is Cat. it true that you asked Travis for, for help paying bills? I did one time. Okay. On paper, it looks like you might be asking other people for money, too. If she asked him for money as a catfish, she has asked other dudes for money as a catfish. There's just no way she just asked one of the hundreds. As anyone else. I was kind of Cat. blind at the time. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I said if I could borrow it, then I would pay him back. I mean, that's a lot to ask of someone that you've been lying to for a long time. <laughs> Two years, you you build a relationship with me. I pour my emotions out to you. I let you know how I feel, what's going on with my family, and the fact that you build all this on bullshit. I put my life on pause for you. It's not cool at all. I mean, look, we already gave him. I always want to know what random people. There's like, you know, it's like a random parking lot. Like, there's just like some dude that just got done in a, uh, shopping at Target. Going up to the third lot, the third floor to get his car, and he just sees fucking Neve and Catfish. I'd be like, what the hell is going on? A lot of today. Because he should know better. But more importantly, what he needs to know is was he just pouring his heart out for someone who really doesn't care? But I really do care. Yep, there it is. Every every time they're I'm so they love each other. Get money out of him. Like, uh, really like Travis. Like, I just. I believe her when she says that, to be honest. Way about myself. You can tell I when people start getting honest. I can't do this for the rest of my life. Okay, this is progress, at least. It's not really, I can't, but I do have feelings for him. Why are you doing this? You're, you're, it's oh, whoa. stupid, like. Mister's not happy. Keep talking, you guys stay. Veronica. I can't watch her do that. Do what? Lie? She just said I up, I up. I cannot watch her sit here. She's saying I up, I up. Right. We're going to hopefully get you her. You know what you did. Right. You're hurting people. And you keep doing it. And you're not going to do it. just saying I up, I'm going to change. No, you're not. Do what? I, wow. I, okay. I thought it was the opposite. I thought the sister was going to be saying I, I feel bad that she's so upset about this. Or like that she's putting herself down. No, the sister's like, nah. She sucks, basically. What I think has happened here is this is probably not the first time her sister Veronica has probably seen or gotten like a I'm not doing it again because like the, the grandma was told not happening anymore and she lied. I'm sure her sister's like, this is just another one of her things. She's just going to lie to you. She's just going to do this for show and and uh, tough. Tell somebody. Why are you pretending? Because I'm not happy, like, myself, that boat, like, I feel good. I feel, I like the attention, like. Are you doing it for the attention? Yeah. I mean, I want someone, I want a real person to want the real me. It's hard. It makes me feel like oh, I'm just fuck. high, you know, like. Neve coming back over, arm around the sister like that, just to make it even more dramatic. And I know it's not cool. Like I said, I have a conscience, you know what I'm saying? It's a point where you have to stop. And I'm at that point, I don't want to do it no more. Are you really, really, you don't want to do I'm this done. anymore? I'm You're done. done. This is the last person? I'm not going to do this over anymore. Her, her sister does not believe her. You're really done. This is it. No more this catfishing. you guys. No more telling men of it. who you think you want to be. I mean, your sister's very upset. She, Hello. she cares about you a lot. And Sorry. Good sister. I heard you say you want to stop before and is worried that you're just not. It hurts me. I'm I don't trying. want to. I didn't mean to say uh, pause at that. I didn't expect the tears, but I will say that I've read the name Candy so many times, and then we have sour Skittles in the cabinet in the kitchen. And right after this episode, I am going to go get that and immediately start eating candy. Pause. That sounds weird. The candy in the, not the girl. See you being someone else that I you're not. I want to be myself. Were you not acting like it? Be yourself. Be who you are. 
I would have accepted you. If you just this is good, though. This is good for her to know that, like, hey, you don't have to do this. About the fake profile. Communication, man. It's everything. I still would have gave you a chance. It's hard, but it's everything. Of our conversation. Sorry. I'm sorry for all the people I hurt. I really uh, hope you Like are. I said, I do have a conscience. It's saying, saying you feel bad and saying you're sorry. Saying you have a conscience. That's one the thing. thing is actually showing it, yeah. people that you feel bad. Well, I'm ready to show. I'm okay, ready to stop. So one way to show is to tell Delete Travis it. who you really are. Delete the profile. And tell him the truth. My name is Brianna. I'm actually 28 years old. Are you on social media as yourself, Brianna? Uh, not Tiana? AKA Bahama Breeze. Hello, hello. It's Mike Tiana. But you see, what is your name? Okay. So her uh, her real self profile is still a fake name named Tiana, but they're saying her name is Brianna. What if it's Rihanna? Brianna. But for your social media, you use the. Do you I'll call just put a T. Okay. Okay. So that would be like me being like, yeah, I'm, I'm. My name is Ryan, but obviously on social media, I just go by Brian. I put a B there because I don't, you know, I don't. So that's really not you still. So she's still lying. It's nothing like, oh, you really you know. don't want to be yourself. Uh, it's a shame. She can't even be her real name on her real really. profile. When that's a shame. Start? Genuinely, like, that's actually profile. sad. And I'm not it's trying to make a, a joke. Wild. How old were you when you started? i say maybe 18, 19. It was a long time ago. Yeah, 10, years. 10 years she's been catfishing? Bruh. Oh, my Lord. No wonder the family's exhausted. That's... A decade? Like, what? Think about that. She's been doing this for over a hundred months, man. Yes. Wow. That's just how this is going to end? Feel comfortable if I wait for you in the car? Yeah, sure. Right. See you guys. Okay, thanks, Veronica. We'll, we'll talk to you later. Okay. Well, geez. Uh, well, I guess, you know, you can't expect that to end great, but man, okay, that was kind of, that was kind of deep. Hope that was entertaining. I hope you got either a laugh or something out of this. If you did, I'll remind you again, subbing, commenting, liking, it's all free and does a ton to help me out on the channel. Makes our bond a little closer. I get to know your guys' names and stuff and write everything down into the wheel of shout outs so once again comment you might get in the wheel just like yaya our shout out from today and i wrote it to where you can read i mean the y is a little bad it looks like a v and then i put a line but yaya thank you so much and to you watching everybody watching i appreciate you um i know you love the catfish stuff so i try to keep it coming as much as possible um some punk content soon um and i'm trying to get some other mtv stuff out some of the throwback shows so um i will do my best to get some new shows out to you guys but without further ado i'm gonna head out i appreciate appreciate you guys for being here so long if you're still here uh you're 50 some minutes in i always say this because i know the data you're one of like three percent of people you're you're a very small percent that are this far in so thanks for real, I'm speaking directly to you. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you. I'll see you guys soon right here on Ryan's Average VODs. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.